5,000 years. That's how long human beings have been recording their history. Less than 1% of the time the Earth's been around. 5,000 years of murder, enslavement, genocide. Each offense piled on top of the one before it. Our history books are full of cruel shit our ancestors did. But it's not just in the past. We haven't left that behind. That proclivity for savagery and brutalism? We've fostered it. Allowed it to grow into something even more depraved. We've cultivated a world where we pretend like it doesn't exist. Like we aren't just animals, hunting one another so we can stay on top. But that's what we are. And that's what we do. Want to sit with me at lunch today? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, class, settle down. I'll be right back. Mr. Caldwell. Mr. Caldwell. I hope you aren't planning on going to class with that backpack. Put it away, in your locker. I don't want to carry all of my books. Now! Stupid fucking rule. Sorry I'm late, bit of car trouble, won't stop me though. So, Great Gatsby, last three chapters, what do we think? Guys, come on. Michael, I heard your voice all the way down the hall. Probably got a lot to say. I don't know. All right, so when the test gets curved, everybody should know why. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Shut up, man. <laughs> I thought it was sad. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. How come? Because of the end. Which was? Guys, come on, we're way past spoilers here. Hard to spoil something we have a quiz on next class. He died. Thank you, James. Care to elaborate? Wilson shot him. Right? Why is that? Because he had to. He had to. Well, yeah, he thought Gatsby killed his wife. So he had to kill him. Okay, well, I think had to is a little bit of a strong word there, James. People kill people that hurt them. 
It's human nature. All right, anybody else have other ideas? No? All right, we'll keep moving then. All right, page 292, everyone. I use the room for lunch again? Of course, anytime you need it. Hey, I read your writing assignment last night, your Heart of Darkness essay. Pictures weren't really part of the assignment. Thought they were important. Well, they freaked me out, which I guess is what you wanted. The essay itself was fantastic. Really? Yeah, it was a strong argument, great analysis, good stuff. You just gotta be careful with the R-rated part. You know, good writing is good writing, and not everyone will see it that way. Like Mr. Akins. Well, I didn't say that. You're a really smart guy, James. I see that. If you ever need anything, I'm here. Hey. I'm sorry about my friends earlier. <laughs> I'm used to it. Used to what? People hating me. They don't hate you. Sure they do. They thought it was weird that I even asked you. They just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know why they like that sometimes. It is weird you said yes. Why? Because you don't know me that well. Well, then why did you ask? Very well, I thought your regular friends were busy and you just needed someone to sit with. I don't I have regular friends. Well, you do now. Mind explaining to me what you're doing out of the cafeteria? Miss Z lets me eat lunch in her classroom. And why would she do that? I don't know, maybe because she's not an asshole. What did you just call me? I didn't call you anything. Maybe. You're inferring something. Well, that's an attention. For what? Defiance, Mr. Caldwell. It oozes out of you. And I thought I told you to put that backpack away. I did. I got it back out. That's two detentions. You want to keep going? I hate you. And I'm surprised at you, Miss Holland. I thought you had better judgment than this. I see that backpack again, and I'm sending you to the front office. You check your attitude, Mr. Caldwell, or you're not long for this school. Come on. Miss Zimmerman. Hey, Jeff. May I join you? Oh, uh, sure. Take a seat. <sighs> it's kind of my intention that you're giving special attention to one of your students. Oh? Huh? I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. I don't think so. So you didn't tell James Caldwell that he could eat in your class? Oh, yes, I did. Is there a problem with that? I'm sorry? It's not hurting anyone. He doesn't like the cafeteria. And I think it's a little overstimulating. That's what he told you. In so many words. Let's put the pleasantries aside, shall we, Miss Zimmerman? Because I've seen kids like James come and go. Troublemakers, disruptors, apathetic, not, not just about learning, but about life. It's a dangerous mix, especially for one as smart as James. He knows where his limits are, how to gain the system for his benefit. 
kids like James don't need to be enrolled in public schools. He needs to be removed. So, do you like English? It's the only language I speak. I mean, the class? Yeah, Miss Z's cool. I mean, I like her more than like books and stuff. Right now I'm writing a list. A list? Yeah, Miss C told me to write a list. It's not for school, it's just whenever. Um, it's supposed to be a list of things that make me happy. That's a good prompt. <laughs> Well, kind of going in my own direction. Well, that's what good writers do, right? Uh, so, uh, what's what's one of the things? I could show you. Oh. If you really want to see. I mean, yeah. What is it? It's nothing weird. Everyone has one. Is it in there? Um, I mean, I guess. <laughs> but you can't tell anyone. Okay. Promise? I promise. <laughs> Cross your heart, hope to die. <laughs> yeah, I promise. removed. Certainly you must agree with me. You've seen all this firsthand. Have I? I've heard terrible reports about his essay and given his track record with his unstable behavior. That's certainly grounds for expulsion. Okay, I don't think I'd go that far. If you've come across evidence of any kind, you have a moral obligation to turn it in. James is a liability. You know, when we signed on to do this, to teach? Nobody said we would only be teaching the good kids. Kids like James need our help. And you think that throwing him out is the best thing to do? We are teachers, Ms. Zimmerman, not mental health professionals. Ms. Zimmerman. Fine. Protect him then. Whatever he does, it's your responsibility. It's cool, right? Don't worry. I'm not gonna shoot you, or else I wouldn't shoot it to you. Why do you have it? Just to have. It's cool. You never know when you might need it. Want to hold it? No. Come on, it's not scary, I promise. Uh, James, I could... Isn't it heavy? James. I always thought they were lighter when I saw them on TV until I held one. I, I, I don't like this. Why not? It's just a gun. James, I, I, I don't like this. I thought you were cool. Okay, please, I, I just don't want to hold it anymore, so please just stop, just stop. Ashley, I didn't know you were here. Me neither. Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. If, if you don't mind, I need to I need to talk to yeah, James yeah, for a yeah, that, sec. Fine. Talk to Mr. Akins. 
Yeah, he hates me. Well... I don't care. I hate him too, so... Can you just... just try us on his good side? What? I know he can be unfair sometimes, but... He can make life really hard for you here. My life sucks anyways. Mom, there's only so much I can do to protect you. Protect me? You know what I mean. I don't need you to protect me. I don't need anyone to protect me. I can take care of myself. What's in the bag, James? Show me what's in the bag. I'm trying to help you. Thank you.